Sweet. Perfect. All right. Yeah, so, yeah we're going to be hopping into game number five here in just a moment. Mm -hmm. Thank you again, everybody, for hanging out with us. With me is Shaft. I am Andy Man, bringing you these games today. <laughs> yes, indeed. And like we said, we are overworked, so don't yell at us for production yeah. values. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I'm having a good time. It's yeah, happened. man. Me it too. looks good. We sound good. That's all that matters. In yeah, my opinion. yeah, exactly, my friend. Oh, I all right. To so turn the sounds back on. <laughs> as I, as I say, oh, our production quality is great. And here you go. Watch me turn the sound <laughs> back on, everybody. No. Nice. Uh, all right, we're all here. Right. We're on Odyssey. Why don't you start us off? Yeah, because I mean, Odyssey's a great map. It's uh like probably my favorite map in the pool. Like that's been here for a while. Um, like there's always you know the one or two quirky maps that are technically my favorites. But as far as like standard macro maps, I like. I like how um you can park kind of between the third and the the natural and um control this territory from an opponent's yeah. perspective. That's Especially one of my favorite parts of it. Because uh, yeah. Zerg relies so heavily on that third base, being able to get from base to base. And that mm -hmm. distance is a little bit much for that third asher, especially early game. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go and introduce these players here on the bottom right-hand side. He plays for Storm Gaming, and he has not taken a third base, which he could have gotten 45 seconds ago. He is our green Zergy McFerguson. It's Penguin. Penguin uh, looking good. I was watching those circlings. They almost got the Reaper. Yeah, almost, almost. But in the top right, his oh, I'm sorry, top left, his opponent as the red Terran player. Give it up for disrespect. Walks, throw him some more energy. He's down three to one right now. Needs to get a win if he wants to continue fighting. Yeah, I believe, man, just... I believe in you, Terran. You can do this. Yeah, I, I just want to see seven. That's all I care about. I don't care who wins. <gasps> Link speed completing. Almost gets the surround on that. Not quite. Yeah, Reaper's doing good. It's three kills so far under his belt. Mm -hmm. Looking solid. Doing some nice uh, scouting. Hopefully going to get back into that main base whenever the next tech structure gets thrown down. Uh, yeah, nothing he's... yet. Just a lot of Zerglings. I wonder if a Baneling Nest, maybe a Baneling Nest coming behind this? I don't know. Reaper's going to be fast to find though. out. I think it's going to yeah. be Zergling drops. Reaper in that main. Oh, Reaper gets through. Yeah, doesn't see anything but the... Uh... Oh, it might see the fast overlords. Yeah, I think this is going to be Zergling drops of some kind mm -hmm. because of this, this is the uh this, big open this area is here. the yeah this is the earlier zergling drop um that i was talking about before sometimes we'll use queens with this oh, okay. um and this is a great map for it you can just park an overlord like right on over there yeah. but uh he still doesn't have the evo mm -hmm. no, yeah no, no. Well, at the very it. least these uh this high amount of zerglings this early on going to be able to shut down the mining mm -hmm. at the natural so that's yeah at least absolute containment Yep. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. There's, it's going to be impossible to get SCVs here. <laughs> Command center just testing the waters, dipping down a little bit. <laughs> His lings are a little too close, though. He's yeah, he down. just wanted to know if he landed this command center, would it kill the Zerglings that were underneath? I wish that was a thing. Building should absolutely <laughs> be able to land on stuff, even your own units. It's a yeah. building, for Christ's sake. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's anyway. got an artificial intelligence in it that is boosted. It's like your garage door harm. sensor. Yeah. Sorry, there's something there. It's going to reopen. All right. So, Penguin exactly. pulling back, losing a, a little bit of that fro forward force of Zerglings. He's just going to fall mm -hmm. back and get his third base established and up and running. There it is. Banley Nest about halfway done. Looks like I called Let's... one thing right today. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about opportunity costs here. Because, well, Penguin definitely did do a little bit of punishment in the air to disrespect, um, delaying that, that natural quite a bit. It came at the cost of delaying the third base and his drone count's not as significantly higher than his opponent like you might would expect at this stage in the game. So at this point, Penguin's got to continue pumping out a few drones, and he is, but that's going to leave disrespect and opportunity to an attack. If he executes properly, this could be pretty nasty. There is no combat shield, so. Here we go, Queen's ready to push this back. Yeah, I don't think that is going to be enough out of the Terran to push onto the mm -hmm. creep just yet. No, oh, just yeah, stay I, on I, the meant to, uh, I meant to ask as well. There is a prize for this as well today, correct? Yes, yes. yes. $10 prize, winner take all. All righty, so there you go. $10 on the line in this game right here for disrespect. Yeah, Ooh, I wanted, uh, I wanted to put that up somewhere. We should add that on one of the screens. Yeah, we can do that for the next one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that for next time. Uh, but yeah, very cool. So yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of love going to the players. And I'm assuming, will we ever mm -hmm. have a match arena up again for this or... Is that the uh, for this event, not so much. Um, no. Matcherino used to be a sponsor of the Polygon Invitational, 
um we still use them to crowdfund that but since this is just a flat ten dollar prize we, we're not crowdfunding yeah um if you guys want to support this event you can visit us on patreon if you want to like donate kind of on a monthly basis one-time basis scroll down on the uh, twitch display there's actually a one-time donation link there uh, let's see what color it is everything's labeled uh support us you can click right there and that will uh take you to our stream labs where you can donate awesome cool stuff yeah hopefully i love i love getting the players they the support they need to continue bringing mm -hmm. us awesome starcraft action you know without without these players yeah. we wouldn't be doing any and of this we wouldn't have anything to watch on a sunday we'd just be sitting right? home reading a book or something that sounds horrible uh -huh. yeah exactly man who reads <laughs> but um no like amateur <laughs> players like because penguin's not the best player on size he's the manager right but at this caliber level, there's not that many events where you can see like what players are thinking, who the up and comers are. That's what this event is designed to do. Let you see like what the next generation of StarCraft looks like. Ooh, here we go, an engagement might be taking place. Scan does go down, gets a, er, no, oh yep, yeah, there's the scan. Another scan, gets a couple more mm -hmm. creep doomers. Gonna be trying to receive the creep, but yeah, Penguin all series has been on point with his creep spread. Oh it yeah, his, so his much queen time. usage, his creep spread, they're all so good. <gasps> Banelings rolling. Oh, Banelings are going to have to get some good connections. Split's already coming down. They will get a few, but the Marines persist. They're going to continue stemmed forward. And no, oh, nice transfuses. Oh, that is impressive. Queen's going to hold as long as they can. Looks like it was just enough time to get out another wave of Circlings and Banelings. And that Penguin is going to save the Queen. Right good that. job. Yeah, beautiful micro, able to hold the third base. Yeah, if he lost, it, if he loses the third base, it could be all over in this game. But that's what disrespect needs. Yeah, this needs is really coming third. down to disrespect trying to snipe that third. Whereas um, penguins, his main concern is to take out the medevacs. So there are currently six medevacs though. That is a lot of medevacs. So he's gonna have to wipe out that ground army first. Yeah. Ooh, a scan will reveal the gold that just got plopped down, trying to expand his economy. Is penguin. But this Terran force is ever looming on the third base. I wonder if it's going to reposition. Looks like, yeah, here we go. Shifting around, maybe going to try to go for the natural. Maybe just clean mm -hmm. up some more creep. Yeah, I'd be scared to push yeah. onto this creep as well. Yeah, and look at all the creep to the south. Like, he's not just got creep over here by these bases. Like, there's a wall of creep. Like, if this was Game of Thrones, it wouldn't be like a giant wall, ice wall. It's a giant wall of creep, just purple everywhere. Oh, I missed the spire. Oh, no, I saw it building earlier, but we haven't seen mutas just yet till now. There's yeah, a have, nice yeah, flock have, coming over. Oh, they, they were there for they were there in that last engagement. Oh, my um, brain somehow didn't even the register them. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, he was targeting medevacs for that. Oh. The queens weren't. Well, I guess um, fire me because I suck. I missed the mutas. <laughs> no, it's man. all right. Mutas are getting a few uh, reinforcements there. Nice pickoffs so far out of them. You know what the real advantage that Disrespect's going to have, though, is those upgrades. Look at that. 2-2 two, two on the way. Just 1-1 one, uh -huh. one on the way for the Zerg player. Yeah, this so. is actually starting to really favor Disrespect in the later game stages yeah, of the game. 2-2, two, two, as a Zerg, you're supposed to get that before the Terran. Terran usually gets 3-3 three, three before you, though. At this point, Disrespect's going to have a huge upgrade. This is an interesting wall coming down at the bottom of the ramp. Mm -hmm. Not going to have vision of the high ground unless he gets something there. A turret is going to try to be constructed, but the mutas are already here. Yeah, I've never seen a ramp like that, at, or a wall like that, at the bottom of a ramp. Just uh, slow those Zerglings and Banelings from crashing in, I would imagine. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, though. It's yeah. got the smallest surface area, and as long as he keeps these units here long enough to get this missile turret up, I don't see any reason why this shouldn't work. Yeah. Ooh, Penguin's doing a nice job. I always love seeing it when the Overlords are out and active on the map. Currently pooping creep out to stop any mm -hmm. fourth base from coming down out of disrespect. So nice you little decisions something? while helping the game. You like want something even more super annoying? Huh. Burrow a ling on top of that. Oh, so God. when the creep spread finishes, and you can, they can't build the base, they then uh, try to build the base, and they're like, "Oh my God, the creep's gone!" Bug. Yeah, there's like, so dude. many, so many ways to be annoying as Zerg. Penguin using all of them. Yeah, Penguin's really good at using all of them. Cause he never gets like tier three. He just does super annoying stuff. The first two tier, but nice. I say that and he's giving an infestation of that. So we'll see what he ends up doing. Two two on the way. Sixteen balings on the way. Plus one flying attack about to complete. And he's basically just making these SCVs waste oh. a lot of mining time. Are you watching this massacre in the reinforcement line that's been happening here? Yeah. Oh man, so many Marines getting picked off. Oh, that was brutal. Full pulling the whole army of disrespect back as well. Oh, so many yeah, Marines just died there. That was, that was, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So, th 
three three starting right now for disrespect oh, he has wow. also got Perrin ship weapon about to be completing so he is already ready for the next stages of this game he has no problems dealing with these mutilists so apparently he's going to use the viking or the liberator route we'll see if that works out for him there are still two liberators on the field and that is completing very shortly yeah, here we go liberators might be taking the siege position on the top of the ramp here maybe continue push for three splits coming down Mm -hmm. Just waiting for those Banelings to come crashing in, and they will do so very shortly, I would imagine, once he gets a little bit further onto the creep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just try, trying to get some good shots with the Widow Mines, I think. Um, he's, he's just really waiting um, to be able to really retreat into those when the Banelings roll through, and he needs to get them burrowed because it's about half. Oh, a huge surround coming in from the left and the right. So many Banelings are going to kill everything. That's just it right there. Yeah, wow. And that... And that, <laughs> kitties, is why you do not run that deep on Crete. Wow. The might Dance of man. the swarm is real. I'm just, I don't even have anything to say on that. Just, wow. Yeah. That was Penguin's so many a very into player. Very into player. I love watching him play Salman. So aggressive. Yeah. So in your face. He's what a up? very strong player. All right. So I think that's it then. That is, yeah, uh, man. that is a best of seven. Let's take one last look at that scoreboard. Penguin able to take it four to one, winning battle on the boardwalk. Oh, I put I put his name as one of the maps. That's all right. Winning Catalyst, winning Odyssey. Disrespect, unfortunately, only able to take one map. He fought well, but it was not enough to overcome that Zerg. Wowza. All right, well, I how do we close this out then? Thanks for hanging out, well. everybody. <laughs> Yeah, man. You say your uh, goodbyes. I'll plug everything, and then we'll uh, toss it to the bureau back screen. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, actually, let me go over to the uh, to the studio here. Thanks for tuning in with me. Of course, was Shaft. He is the content creator of Polygon SE2. Be sure to hit the follow button and come back every Sunday in 2018. What we'll be doing this Sunday skirmish. Uh, I am Andy Man. Sure. 80085 is my stream channel. Come check me out for even more Starcraft action. That's all I've got, my friend. Yes, sir. So, um, where can they, uh, like, what is it? Meiosis Gaming? Is, oh, yeah, Meiosis Gaming. We, we have a uh, lovely Discord channel. If you head over to my stream, AndyMan80085, that is AndyMan Boobs, numeric boobs, you can check out our Discord channel. We get uh, a lot of new players there, so we're there to help teach people how to play, how to have a good time. Uh, I cast user submitted replays. That's about it. It's just a fun little community for StarCraft. Yeah, man. So, Cyan, what's up, buddy? Oh, you yeah, missed it. Cyan. How are you, man? You missed it. Um, you can go watch the VOD. It's all right. Yeah, the VOD. It's actually, it's speaking over. of the VODs, VODs will be up on the Polygon Gaming YouTube channel. It usually takes me about three days to get everything cut up and processed. Uh -huh. But I'll be break, I'll be uploading it game one, game two, game three, and so on and so forth. So if you want to check those out, visit us on the Polygon Gaming YouTube channel. You can click the link in the description. But guys, I am Shaft with Polygon Gaming. We're going to be wrapping this up. If you want to see more StarCraft 2 content from us, go to Twitter com slash polygon sc2 where um I, I upload lots of lots of videos from the youtube channel and uh there's going to be a new crash course coming out on zerg vs protoss how to deal with um airplay air openers Ooh, and uh, a basic air transition into robo so you know like the the super annoying like they open up with yeah. uh stargate they take a third base before like five minutes and they just play super defensive and then they go attack you uh, around like five, six Shut minutes. Um, yeah, yeah. How do you deal with that? Featuring Jim Rising and Pico Mine. Nice. So you guys will be looking forward to that. And uh, like I said, check us out on YouTube. Until uh, the new year, guys, this is uh, Shaft, Polygon Gaming, and uh, Andy Man. We are signing out. That's See you neat. next time. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Catch you next time. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.